When you forget the Google account password or screen lock passcode, and then you will be in trouble. Now, there is a complete bypass solution of the Google lock by unlocking bootloader. So the crucial understanding is what is the Google lock and then what is the bootloader? The Google lock is to protect the private information of the smartphone used by the, the holder who has the Google account. And if when the smartphone is accidentally lost, then the principle is to protect the private information by locking the phone. So there is a screen pass code and then the also the factory is a protection. So when you reset in a recovery mode, then the smartphone cannot be used in the setup wizard. Now, let us understand what is the bootloader. In everyday morning, you take a shoes, take on the boot, and then start the day. So in a PC, when the PC is started by the power up, then this bootloader is the first program that is executed. Also in a smartphone, when you power up, then the bootloader executes the first. Now, what do we mean by the, the unlocking? Unlocking the bootloader is the bootloader has the, the disk partition information table, and this partition information, so the, the one can modify the formula by the unlocked the bootloader. When we unlocked the bootloader, the merits of unlocking the bootloader is you can bypass the factory reset protection very easily. But still you need to back up all of your data since wiping out the data and the wipe the cache erase all the data stored in your device. But there are also very significant disadvantage that the security is significantly weakened by the unlocking the bootloader. So here we discuss the scientific principles of the unlocking the bootloader and its effect on the factory's protection. So you have to weigh the merits and the demerits of the unlocking the bootloader and then make a proper decision to suit your own needs. Fire is extremely useful for human evolution, but on the other hand, the fire can be fatal if it is not properly used. Formware in the download mode and the recovery mode are extremely useful but can be fatal. It can break your phones. Now let's first examine how to unlock the bootloader. This is a hidden to protect the naive users who can accidentally set the unlock the bootloader. Since this is a risky setting, it is a hidden. So the way to enable the unlock bootloader is in a setting, then you go to the about device and then find the build number and then the click seven times. Then the setting introduced the new menu, which is the developer options. In the developer option, you 
turn on the button of OEM unlocking. When you turn on the OEM unlocking, and then if you go to the download mode, then you can see the differences. So let's examine the difference in the download mode. In the download mode, if the bootloader is not unlocked, then if you look at the message in the top of the download mode screen, you can look at the OEM lock. And the OEM lock is on if the bootloader is not unlocked. But if you unlock the bootloader, the download mode shows the OEM lock off. So that implies that your bootloader is unlocked. So this device is synced with a Google account and the screen lock passcode is a setup. So as you have seen here, if you hit that the 1, 2, 3, 4, then the screen lock is still protect the machine. If you put the volume up, power, and the hold button about the seven seconds, then it enters into recovery mode. Now, the most of the application, the program are located in the slash data slash app and then there is a com of the application name. And the data is located in the slash data, slash data, and then application name. Now, crucial piece of information for our Google protection is the FRP information is located in a slash dev slash block. And then also the pin pattern information is located in a slash data slash system. Wipe data erase the data in a slash data including the slash data up and then slash data slash data. So the wipe out data removes the, the both application and its data. And the cache partition also erase the cache partition area, which stores the recently used diving machine, as well as the, the JDK virtual memory, virtual machine. Now, but it does not remove the slash dev slash block, the MMC block, which is persistence. So if we do not unlock the bootloader, this device block is not erased. But if we unlock the bootloader, this device block is erased. As we noticed in a sign-in activity, in the left button corner shows that the skip. So sign in does not enforce to enter the password. We can just skip it. So we are not enforced to to the factory protection of Google. What is the flash? In a PC, the most memory is the volatile one. So when you turn off the power, all the information stored in a RAM just vanishes. On the other hand, when you flash the firmware, we need a non-volatile memory. Because if the firmware, the essential operating system vanishes after the power of, then the smartphone would not function normally. 
So we have a NAND memory, which stores the value and is non-volatile. So it maintains this information after the power of. This is a very fascinating, exciting subject. So when you want to study the various directory, like the uh, slash data directory, op data directory, and data data directory, as a normal user, you cannot access this part of the data memory. So when we root the smartphone, we can access them. But routing takes uh, a little bit of the learning curve. So when you look at the efforts as a function of time, then there is a big threshold at the beginning, the routing and then the Linux computer in addition to the usual PC or Mac. Of course, it is nice to buy, purchase Linux machine and the separate MacBook Pro. But if you are limited in budget, one best method to try the various experiments is to install the Ubuntu or the Mac in a PC as the, the QEMU, Q -E -M -U kernel. By this, so we provide the paid services. You can send your phone and then we route them for you. Then you can experiment many ways. 